What's up guys, Sunny here from Car Omelette and this is the 2023 BMW 320D M Sport. And today I'm gonna test 0 to 100 kilometers an hour with launch control. Oh. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's not bad. So this car have a two liter diesel engine that produce 190 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. Paired with an 8-speed Sport Steptronic transmission that shift very, very, very fast. This engine is very common in all the diesel lineup of the BMW. I think this car has a little bit of hesitation when you drive it in comfort mode. In slower speed driving, this car is powerful enough, you can drive this thing in traffic very easily. This car also comes with an auto brake hole that will help ease your stress from have to pressing the brake and the accelerator and the brake and the accelerator to just leave the brake alone and just push on the accelerator when you want to move forward. And in highway driving, I want a little bit more responsiveness from this engine and transmission because me personally, on the 320D, the older generation E92. And that car has an N47 engine, which is the kind of the predecessor of this new engine. I think this engine is performed a lot better, a lot smoother, and a lot quieter than the N47. But this car is new, it got a lot more punch. When you want it to go, it will go. And this new transmission also uh, shift a lot better and faster than my 6-speed. This is the facelift version, LCI version of the 320D. At the front, I think it looks better, but at the back, I kind of don't really sure about the rear diffuser that it, I think it's too big for just a normal 320D. I think it looked kind of similar to the BMW M3 with a performance exhaust, with an M performance exhaust, but this is not an M. This new alloy wheel in this 320D version, it looked a lot cooler than, than the previous generation. The previous generation in Thailand have a multi-spoke wheel that looked kind of not cool. Come to the interior of this car. The interior is revised from the pre-facelift version with this new curved screen and this little gear shifting thing is changed from the normal BMW shifter to the this small toggle thing here. And I think it's quite intuitive because when you maneuver around, put it in reverse and drive, reverse and drive, it's pretty easy. Because the previous generation, you have to like push the side button and move it. I think this reduced some of the process in shifting the gear. And this new curve screen look a lot cooler, but with the new OS8 version of the iDrive system, I think it's kind of a hassle to use. This new icon type style, it's so hard to use when you are driving. All the function of the car is all embedded in this center screen, like climate control. You have to push the screen to adjust the climate fan. Just give me a physical button, not do it like this BMW. And the suspension is adjustable suspension depending on what modes are you in. Now I'm in comfort mode, it rides so good. Okay, it's not a really silky smooth, but smooth enough for BMW. And if you want it to be sharper, you put it in sport mode, that will go red. And the suspension is uh, a lot more bumpier. If you have a very uneven bumpy road, you're not gonna like this 
sport suspension, the fuel economy. This car can average around 17, maybe to 20 km per liter if you are driving highway and going on a long road trip. Now we are about, about to be at half of the tank and the computer reading is at 551 km. That means at a full tank, this car should done about 1,000 km of range. That is so, so crazy. As a whole, I really, really like this new BMW 3 Series. As a 3 Series owner myself, I really like this new one. Compared to the two previous version, the E90 version and the F30 version, I think this car is a lot more refined. The suspension is kind of better, I guess, because previous version, I think the suspension is good for one thing, but it's not good for another thing. But I think this new suspension better. And the engine, engine, I think it's more refined and smoother. This car now priced in Thailand at 2.7 million and 59,000 baht. It's kind of expensive, but this car is kind of a luxury starter pack for driving actual BMW. And I think it is a very good value for money. And that's all for today for Car Omelet. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Thai car reviews. See you on the next one.